Yes. You heard right it's not a movie or any fancy dialogue, Tesla expects to have a humanoid robot, set with Tesla vehicle, one more miracle of artificial intelligence. We often seen that in movies and read such things in comic books, but the day is not so far when we see the robot working at our place and reduce our workload during Tesla's AI Day event. Tesla CEO Elon Musk introduced a concept for Tesla Bot a 125LB, 5 feet and 8 inch tall electromechanically driven autonomous bipedal general purpose humanoid robot. Musk shared a few pictures and talked about his vision for the robot. Musk states that the humanoid robot that uses artificial intelligence to take over mundane tasks for people, the face is substituted with autopilot cameras and an information display in Tesla Bot, besides lifting 150 pound weight. The robot, which isn't even in the prototype stage yet, could handle unsafe, repetitive, boring work like going to the store to buy groceries. More importantly in the future physical work will be a choice, Musk said during the presentation at Tesla's AI Day. If you want to do it, you can, but you won't need to do it. The CEO of Tesla sees the Tesla bot as an obvious opportunity, and one that enhances the chances for success of his human settlement on Mars. Tesla has invested a lot of time and money in solving self-driving cars by solving the problem of computer vision. That robust neural network solution required Tesla to redirect the entire company around that problem. The same system, custom silicon and the vehicles, it will include 8 cameras that will input into a neural network created by Tesla for its FSD software, huge amounts of data streamed back from all of them, can also run other mobile robots besides those that look like cars, it can be the brain of humanoid robots, the advantage of using Tesla's vehicle robotic tech to build humanoid robots is that they are an entirely separate product line from vehicles and can work in vehicle production and their own production. Tesla can invest a lot of capital in using its robotic car tech in humanoid robots because they can justify mass production. Mass production will lower their price and repeatedly improve their quality and capabilities. Of course, this won't happen overnight. It's a continuous ambition for after Tesla's automatic tech takes over the global market. This is a good answer to what Tesla will focus on next, when it's a multi-trillion dollar market cap company making huge profits building robotic networked cars, buses, and trucks. The European Aviation Safety Agency EASA, has published a report announcing the arrival of flying taxis and ambulances by 2026, a new 4.2 billion euro market and 9,000 jobs will be created. The future of urban mobility passes through the skies of Europe, ESA is sure of it. The European Aviation Safety Agency has published a report on urban air mobility, the air transport system for passengers and goods in and around urban environments. Experts say that it will soon become normal for EU citizens to take a flying taxi or air ambulance. In fact, the official text states that several tests and demos are already underway. It is therefore time for the European Union and national authorities to prepare an advanced regulatory framework capable of kick-starting a new model of urban mobility in transport. The aim is to ensure that Europe can quickly establish itself as a leading market in the world. ESA also points out that the advent of urban air mobility will lead to the creation of market worth 4.2 billion euros with 90,000 new jobs in the 27 countries of the Union by 2030. IBM has announced the creation of the world's first 2 nanometer chip. It will guarantee 45% higher performance than the most advanced chips on the market today. Just 2 nanometers, 1 billionth of a meter, or 1 billionth of a millimeter, are enough to bring about a technological revolution. The engineers at IBM are certain of this. The American tech company has announced the creation of the first 2 nanometer chip. To be clear, 2 nanometers is roughly the diameter of the DNA double helix. Thanks to this extremely small size, IBM's new product will guarantee 45% higher performance than the most advanced chips, 5 or 7 nanometers, used in CPU architectures today. According to the US company's calculations, a laptop with a 2 nanometer chip could have up to 4 times longer battery life. This would significantly reduce energy consumption, a full charge every 4 days would be sufficient, and allow users to use their PCs with great freedom. 
researchers at University College London have set an important new record in internet history, reaching the speed of 178 terabits per second. An important new chapter is added to the history of the internet. To write it, other researchers of University College London, in partnership with leading high-tech companies, scholars have set a new record for the speed of online data transmission. The incredible speed achieved by the team is 178 terabits per second, or 178 million megabits per second. To give an idea, with this connection a user could download the entire Netflix catalog in less than one second. The supremacy has been obtained by transmitting data through waves with an average length wider than the one used in the fiber optic connection. Previously, the data transmission speed record belonged to a Japanese team. The digital infrastructures that allowed the university college researchers to improve the Japanese result by 20%, marking a new record, were provided by the companies Terra and KDDI Research. The results were published in the academic journal IEEE Photonics Technology Letters. Yes, Sony made it possible to imagine. New technology is going to allow people to use a banana or any object as a game controller. Finally, we are not confined to use only some mathematical shapes, circle, triangle, square, in the form of remote control. Sony has filed for a patent that details the method of turning any object, either banana, bread or a bottle, into a game controller. The patent application described the method of turning a banana into a PlayStation controller. Basically, this technology turns an object which can't produce its own light non-luminous passive object being held by a user into a controller, overlaid virtual buttons on top of it, with a banana being detailed as the example, a camera could detect the object, so they could detect user's finger in the obtained image, to coincide with the location of the virtual buttons. The idea is to use any object or fruit as a video game controller, this will give an amusing and different look to the PlayStation controller. It would be desirable if a user could use an inexpensive, simple and non-electronic device as a video game peripheral, says the patent application. The disclosure seeks to alleviate some of the identified problems. Initially, the application may seem unusual. However, Sony trying to solve a problem with this technique, as the designers note in the application, the existing controller can be a barrier to entry because of technical complexity, but as you know, some complexity is always there as a part of the design and technology. Well, as in the case with any patent application, there's no guarantee Sony will ever commercialize. However according to the Indian Express, they confirmed that they are working on a new PlayStation VR headset for its popular PlayStation 5 console. The new next generation VR system will offer conspicuous leaps in performance and synergism and even greater sense of presence. The VR headset for PS5 will also feature a new controller inspired by the PS5's dual sense and require only a single cord to associate. Companies with new technologies are making intensive efforts to overwhelm society in the form of gadgets and sometimes with antique design of games and game controller.